So let's compare engineering school to medical school. If you're new here, hi, my name's Alyssa. I'm a fourth year medical student in the US. Prior to medical school, I studied mechanical engineering. Some of my longtime followers um, might remember that, but um, I wanted to just kind of compare the two. I'm, since I'm almost done with medical school, I have like, a, I have one month of, of like an actual core rotation left. And then after that, just electives and like pretty chill things moving ahead until I graduate. So I thought now would be a good time to kind of address this and I could compare things. So let's go ahead and, and just get started. So in terms of the class experience, engineering was really interactive. Um, we would usually like go through derivations during class and be writing out a lot of things that we're learning. It was kind of slower, like a slower pace. The teacher would kind of involve us if we did or didn't understand things. Um, I kind of liked that in terms of kind of the, the pace and we were like actually writing notes. Um, like I was writing, well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if this is like archaic, but I was writing everything that the professor was writing down on the board. Um, medicine, for instance, has been not very interactive. Uh, the first couple of years of medical school, they would just like go through a whole bunch of PowerPoint slides. So we would go through like hundreds in a day and um, yeah, that was pretty much what class was like or yeah, lectures, it was a very fast pace, um, lots of material to get through and you're kind of just absorb absorbing it and maybe like making little highlights throughout the lectures. Um, I actually was able to watch the lectures from home because it was during COVID, but my school also didn't have mandatory attendance for medical school. For engineering, it was mandatory attendance. I don't know how COVID has changed everything for that or even how other engineering schools are, but mine, the attendance was mandatory. Um, some medical schools do have man mandatory attendance, some don't. Um, so it just kind of depends on, on your school. Um, as far as um, homework, so engineering school had a ton of homework. There's just so much homework. You were constantly working on problems and yeah, it was just insane for med school. Not a lot of homework per se, but you did have um, different, I, I don't know, quote unquote, busy work things that you had to do, like some things that you had to turn on, uh, turn in. Um, yeah, a lot of like practice problems and projects for engineering. And there was a, like a huge amount of team based things that you'd have to do. So the homework was so difficult sometimes in engineering school that I couldn't possibly learn or I couldn't possibly figure things out on my own. So you had to work in teams a lot of the time just to kind of figure things out. Um, I also went to my professor's office a lot of the time just to get help because things were just really difficult and yeah. I never really had to do that for medical school things. Usually you could like Google it if the lecture didn't do a good job of explaining it to you, but it wasn't like super hard to understand. The engineering stuff was really hard to understand. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I guess with engineering, there's still some concepts. By the time I graduated, I still don't feel like I have or had a great concept for like control systems. I took an upper level control systems class and by the time I was like finishing that class and graduating, I was like, wow, I really still feel like I don't have a good concept of even what control systems is. It was just so like over my head. Thankfully, that's more of, I think, an electrical engineering thing, but it was still interesting and it's always fun to push yourself and to take different things. And I still enjoyed it. I just didn't really feel like I understood it. And I don't know, that's a lot of what engineering is. Sometimes you're like in this, or at least what engineering school is like, um, it's like you're just sitting there trying to understand something and it's just hard to understand. Uh, medicine's a little bit different in terms of medical school, um, in terms of understanding things. Um, let's see here. Ah, so let's talk about exams. So uh, engineering school exams were usually problems that you would have to solve and you would show your work and come to your answer at the end. Um, the problems were very similar to the homework that you did, never identical, but very similar. If you knew how to do your homework, I, I would usually go through and review all of my homework prior to the exams and like class problems that they did. Um, and usually I was, I was good on the exam. Um, yeah. And the interesting thing with engineering exams is that sometimes not for all of my classes, but for some of my classes, they would give you like six problems, but you'd only have to solve four of them. So you could choose which questions you actually wanted to solve, which I thought was actually pretty cool. Uh, medical school isn't like that. You usually have multiple choice exams and um, you have to answer every question. So just a little bit different, but it is cool with engineering because you get partial credit sometimes. 
not every teacher, but it's nice because if you just got like a negative, like you had a negative number rather than a positive number at the end, like you would still get some credit for it, for it, even if you were wrong. Like even if you made a sign error somewhere on it, you would still get partial credit rather than getting it all incorrect. Um, I guess if you got it all incorrect, you would basically fail the exam because there weren't many questions, but that was nice about engineering. Like partial credit was, was a nice thing. Um, as far as teamwork, yeah, engineering was very, engineering school was very team based. Um, lots of things done in teams, lots of projects like sophomore design, senior design, those sorts of things. With um, medical school, the first couple of years, I found it to be a lot more kind of on your own because there's just a lot of material that you have to learn. And probably because of COVID and I lived off campus, I didn't have a lot of interaction with others this first couple of years, so it could get like sort of lonely. Um, a lot of people do study in groups though and, and enjoy doing that. I usually don't do that because I just don't study that well in groups, but a lot of people do that. But I did find the team aspect to be a lot more in terms of like the school um, setting for engineering. Um, job prospects, or at least the feeling of job prospects during engineering versus medical school. For engineering, it feels a lot less like cutthroat and competitive with one another. It feels like there's enough, like there are enough spots for everyone at the end of the day, which is nice. Um, you're competing, well, you're not really competing for jobs. I mean, kind of, but at the same time, there's a job for everyone kind of a, a thing. Um, in medical school, it feels like more competitive because there are less spots for everybody at the end of the day. So after medical school, you go to residency and for residency in the U S there are limited positions. So there are more medical students than positions for residents. So because of that, it, it does feel very competitive and it feels like, even if you work the very hardest that you can possibly work, you still might not match and go into residency. So the feeling as far as that can be a little bit different and it can also Im impact the feeling of competitiveness during school. I also found like, I found the engineering type people to be a lot less competitive overall too. I had a lot of classmates and we all kind of just, well, I didn't have a lot of classmates. It was a fairly small school, but we helped each other, you know, like we helped each other get through. We worked on things together and it wasn't like we were competing against each other because we really wouldn't, weren't like, it didn't matter at the end of the day, like we'd all probably get jobs somewhere. Um, it was just different, like a, a very different vibe in, in school. And I think engineers a lot of the time are less of the type A, like you still have type A's. You definitely have type A's. Um, I don't know, just more, more laid back people. Yeah, maybe just the people tend to be a little bit more laid back in engineering school. Um, yeah, I guess one other thing could be humor. I found both groups of people to be equally hilarious and great. Like the engineering sense of humor is excellent and so is the medical student humor. Like either way, you are going to have a lot of things to laugh about to help you get through whether you're going into engineering school or medical school or both. Um, both offer a lot of that and great people in both fields. Um, yeah, it's, it, you can't go wrong either way, but these are just my experiences in engineering school versus medical school. So I hope this was uh, entertaining to some extent. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video.